जो भी बात करनी हो अक्सर से आगे तो मेरा बैठना जरूरी नहीं है पर फिर भी बैठ जाता हूँ ठीक है भगवान महावीर जो है केवल सिल्वर हमेशा याद रखने के लिए जो है आ, आप लोगों को भी जोश आना चाहिए एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन एंड थैंक यू सो मच एंड थैंक यू सर फॉर दिस होम कमिंग फॉर दिस हार्टी वेलकम है and the thing is that i this is i'll just give a brief introduction of mine only what is relevant to you all so i immediately after graduating from my college started to pursue this dream of mine this path of upsc civil services examination so when i was in my last semester of college i started my preparation and it was then that i decided to choose anthropology as a subject as an optional so first of all i would just like to highlight why i chose this optional because it was my last semester and i decided that i would be giving my first attempt immediately after graduation so it was under these circumstances that i was looking for an optional subject okay so the thing is that i have done my graduation in design from iit guwahati so there is no optional related to this particular subject and i was very sure that i did not want to choose any optional related to science as well physics chemistry maths i was very sure i did not want that so i had to choose out of the other optionals and when i i had i have this aptitude in social sciences which i believe i always have and that is why when i was looking at the list the syllabus of anthropology it caught my eye and the syllabus was precise it was very well defined and then i consulted a few seniors i consulted some people who had given this exam through this optional and those who were giving this exam with this optional so consulted both of them and then afterwards i decided that okay this is the option i wanted to take and once i decided i never looked back kabhi bhi aisa nahi hua ki ek baar sochne ke baad i was thinking ki ye galat optional kyun le liya ya after 15 days aisa lagne laga ki yaar maybe i should change my optional so my first advice to all of you is once you have decided that this is the optional you want to opt for please do not look back now try to give your best in this optional and trust me this optional is very very good it is very interesting it has a br brief precise syllabus and you can do well in this optional if you are willing to work hard for this which is natural which is given and then when i gave my prelims at that time so immediately after graduation and i was very very fortunate that i could not clear the pre i missed by one question so even then i had worked very hard because that is why i could get to at least that level that i missed only by one question i started in march 2017 so i was very very fortunate that i missed my prelims because i was not at all ready with my optional had i cleared that prelims i am pretty sure that i would have missed out in the mains and ultimately i would have been caught in this cycle this cycle basically what i call this is a vicious cycle i would not have cleared mains then i would have waited for 2 3 months for the results and after the results came they do not disclose the marks so you do not know exactly which area you have to work upon and then you have only 2 3 months again the pressure of pre builds up and again the entire sequence keeps on repeating so that is why i always say and in fact sir has also always said that whenever you are giving your first attempt it should be such that you should always be mains ready for that you should always consider your first attempt as your last attempt selection hoga nahi hoga that is not up to you that is not in your hands but you have to give your best attempt in the very first shot itself so always have this strategy in your mind so i joined immediately when i had graduated i came to wait sir and i joined the institute so i think the batch started in the last week of june 
so my and shreyansh we me and shreyansh both of us started together and the results of pre came out so i could not clear as i said so when i at this particular stage exactly at this particular moment where you all are right now i will be sharing what i was thinking exactly at this particular moment so what i want to do is i want to be very honest i have always been very honest with my approach i do not hesitate to share each and everything with all of you and i will be very transparent right now as well so i will be sharing my approach the way of thinking how i strategize for this optional the resources because i have been receiving a lot of queries on resources so i'll be sharing the resources as well and i'll also be sharing certain topic wise things which i felt it can help you the various topics of this optional subject i'll be sharing my inputs on them and broad inputs on the entire optional so this session might get a bit long but ultimately that is only because i want to share each and everything with you okay so just be patient just listen to me what i have to offer and mainly this is going to be about optional i've been kind of i've shared almost everything for general studies so you can go and refer that but if you want to ask any questions in the end regarding gs then okay it, it is going to be fine with me but this session is mainly about optional okay so i understand that you most of you have started the optional subject right now so it might happen that you might not understand each and everything absolutely well but that is perfectly okay this session is going to come on youtube so whenever after few months time when you have developed a basic understanding maybe you can watch this again and maybe that is going to be further helpful to you okay so i'll be using the board so first of all let me start with this approach so a disclaimer first when i share my approach i am not saying follow this i am not at all saying just follow and just copy my strategy i just want to give you a way of thinking and maybe it can benefit you maybe it can give you one or two inputs okay but each and every person of here has to develop his or her own strategy based on their circumstances right so i just want to highlight that when i came here in june end almost you can say july i had read sir's book i had kind of read a few pages on it only a very minor section of the book and i had read some of the khaka report so that was the only background i had when i joined sir and that was pretty much not at all useful so kind of my preparation started in july i'm talking about optional so i start my approach from july onwards because that is when i properly started studying about anthropology okay so the time is july 17 so right now i started to think what exactly i have to do and my first priority as i have mentioned was optional i was very very clear in my mind at this particular stage that i'll be completing my optional first i had given pre so i had developed a basic understanding of the general studies even though it was very superficial only kind of you can say from a prelims point of view but still i had a very basic understanding so that is why at this stage i thought let me put gs to the background let me put my optional to the forefront so right now i decided that in the span of 4 months july to october end i'll complete my optional in this particular time i was very very clear with this this was my target okay so here my main priority is optional and as we all know sir gives us question answers right so to practice questions answers to practice and all to write in proper answer format so i thought let me complete the syllabus in this format only rather than making notes i'll be completing the entire syllabus of anthropology through question answers because if you see the syllabus and previous year questions of anthropology you will realize that questions they tend to repeat they tend to come from the syllabus and sir was also giving us in this format only so i decided that this is the way i am going to go forward 
I am going to complete the entire syllabus in this form rather than developing say short notes on it. So, this strategy was different as compared to my strategy for the general studies. Okay? So, for example, each and every chapter it can be divided into certain set of questions. Right? So, I thought I will be developing proper model answers on each and every question. It takes time, but I was ready to devote entire four months for that. And I want to highlight the importance of the syllabus and the previous year questions in the case of anthropology. It is true even for general studies, but for anthropology it is so, so important that if anybody of you has not realized that, then means you have made your first mistake in anthropology. So, please remember always keep the syllabus and the previous year questions in front of you always and you will realize how to study and what to study. Okay? So, in this particular four months, my target was to develop these model answers for the entire course. Fine. Afterwards, from November to February, my main priority shifted to general studies, but even in this particular time, I was giving around two hours for revision of the answers I had prepared, just to revise them. And in this particular moment, I joined test series. Okay? So, in this particular time, I joined test series. So, I joined the test series of L2A. Okay? So, I was only able to give 3, 4 tests. It is not as though I had given 10, 15 tests. No. But, this was a very decisive stage for me. Why? Because after giving 2 tests, I was able to realize that there is a lot of scope of improvement in my answers. I was now beginning to understand the nerve of the exam. Understanding that where all improvements can be made in the model answers I had developed. So, that is why I consider this to be a decisive period for my entire preparation. So, it was after giving just two tests. I am being very honest with you. After two tests, I was able to understand what is needed to, for this particular optional, how to write my answers. I will be sharing that with you. I will be sharing all those inputs with you, so that you can start from the very beginning, from right now. Okay? So, always tests are important. Sir also tells you to give tests, come to the institute, give tests. So, tests are very, very important. They help you understand what you have read, the answers you have developed, whether they are correct or not. Okay? And then afterwards, from after the prelims obviously, because from March I dedicated my entire time to prelims. Please do not ignore prelims as well. Sir has been telling me that there have been students who were studying anthro whole year round and ultimately they could not give proper time to prelims. So, please do not do that. Always give three, three and a half months dedicated for prelims. So, I started from March for prelims. Okay, so, after prelims, I again started immediately with my optional, because there had been a time lag. So, I started to work again on the answers of mine. I started to work heavily on them. In fact, I was so engrossed in this that I, after prelims, till September, I was working on my optional only because I was now so heavily obsessed on improving the quality of my answers that I started to give too much time to it. So, that is why I want to share those inputs, so that you do not have to kind of get into this situation. So, I, uh, my situation became kind of risky, because I gave too much time to this and GA started to go into the backdrop. The good thing was in my case that I had prepared short notes on GS before prelims itself. So, that ultimately helped me a lot. Otherwise, I was a gone case in GS. So, that is why I do not want you to make this mistake and that is why I will be sharing those inputs with you. Okay, so, I was working heavily on improving the quality of my answers and on giving test which is natural at this stage. After prelims, you can not at all escape test. Because in anthropology, I am telling you it is difficult to complete the paper in time. It is not easy. Until and unless you are very thorough with your answers, very well revised in your answers, then only it is it is easy for you to complete the paper. Otherwise, it becomes difficult. You do not have time to think. That is why you have to have a very good command to 
a command over what you have prepared in this particular optional. Okay, so this basically is a basic approach, basic strategy. And the thing is that I had thought all these while I was sitting here at this stage only. So I always say to all the aspirants, please, rather than blindly starting your studies, please give time to approach this basic strategy. Take your time, take three days, four days, take a week, but always have this broad target in your mind. I am not saying that you have to do your own plan for 24 hours, that I will get so much at night, that I will do this at night, that I will do this, please. That is not required, but you need a broad target. And in this case, obviously you have certain small targets, for example, in 15 days I have to complete this particular section. So that these are feasible targets and when you have a target in your mind, your mind, your body automatically functions to achieve that target. People say ki, students say ki, hume samaj nahi aara wo kahaan kaise kare hain, roz itni mehnat kaise kare hain, motivation kahaan se lai hain. That will come when you have clear proper targets in your mind. So that is why having a proper strategy approach is very, very important in my opinion. Okay, so if you have not developed this particular approach right now, go home and develop that. Rather than just opening the books and starting and just studying for the sake of it. Okay, so always have this clear cut approach in your mind. Right. So I will be starting with uh, paper one first. Okay. So first of all, let me just share the resources I followed. I have been getting a lot of questions. I still do not understand why people are so kind of <laughs> obsessed with the resources because resources are there. Resources are not changing. The thing is, we always have resources. We have not done anything different. Okay, but still, I will share my resources for paper 1 first and then I will be talking about paper 1. Then I will share about the paper 2 first with the resources and then with the inputs and all. Okay? So if you want to note down, you can note down, otherwise video to here available. So first of all, uh, in paper one, obviously, Vaid Sir's book, Introduction to Social Cultural Anthropology, the yellow book, as we all know that. So that is very important. And then I read Upadhyay and Pandey's History of Anthropological Thought, especially for the anthropological theories. That is a good book in my opinion. Then obviously, you have Pinath for physical anthropology, I referred Peenath and where sir notes. The entire notes for the paper one, I re refer to them heavily. So you will all have access to where sir's notes and I refer to these four main resources. Apart from that, you can see only these four main resources. Kuch nahi resource maine nahi batai either. Achha, one more point, I am going to include archaeology as a part of paper two. Because Indian archaeology is in paper 2 and it is world archaeology, hota, but I am going to club them together. So, archaeology resource I will share for as part of paper 2. Okay? Apart from that, I also referred a few online resources. For example, in the case of theories, there is this uh, site, I think of uh, University of Alabama as far as I remember. So, there is a particular university, you can easily find that. So, there they have given links to the theories and all, they have explained them. So, I refer to that. And some matter on the e partshala uh, content and all. So they are also only certain matter for reference purposes. And regarding brain tree, I had brain tree, but I think the quality is not optimum. It is not up to the mark. They have written a lot of things, but very less is valuable. So you can keep it, but for me it was only a last resort. Agar nahi mil raha kuch bhi topic pe, then maybe I, I would just go through it. Tab bhi most of the times I used to be disappointed. So that is just how I felt. And I am not kind of criticizing anybody, but that is how I felt and I am sharing that with you. Okay. So this is about the resources. Just this. Fine. And now let me just discuss about the various topics of paper one. So I divide the syllabus, I divided the syllabus of paper one as per my own convenience. Okay? So I'll be rubbing this. I I think that is okay. So the first section is what I call the basics of anthropology. Basics of 
basics of anthropology includes your units 1.1 to 1.3 and also I include unit 8 in this. Can someone tell me what is unit 8? ये सब आपको पता होना चाहिए एक एक को मुझे अब तक याद है आई रिमेम्बर दिस टू दिस डेट ठीक है तो सिलेबस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैं ये नहीं कह रहा उसको एकदम रट दो बट ऑलवेज हैव द सिलेबस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अपने आप पे यू विल रिमेम्बर सो आई इंक्लूड दीज टॉपिक्स अंडर दिस सो फर्स्ट वन इज रिलेटेड टू द मीनिंग स्कोप एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड दैट इज द रिसर्च एंड फील्ड वर्क मेथड so i call this the basics of anthropology so i divided the syllabus as per my own convenience okay so generally the perception about these topics is that these are very easy and let us ignore them please don't do that i think the, these are not easy in par content kabhi kabhi utna nahi mil pata hai so the thing is ki iske liye there is adequate content in search book as well and for certain cases you have to look on the online resources but the fortunate thing about this is that there is a common format where in which you can work for example aap kuch bhi dekh lijiye isme jo hai you will start with an introduction then you have to give the background of that particular branch main samajh sakta hu some of you might not be understanding each and everything because aapne chalu kiya hai but just listen and once you start doing this just again see this video and you will start to understand in a much better manner okay just be patient ho sakta hai nahi samajh mein aa raha that is fine but once you start this you will understand what i am saying theek okay, so in in this case you have to talk about the various branches of anthropology how it has developed you have to compare anthropology with other subjects and all so there is a common format you can work around you obviously start with defining the branch and all right then you start with giving a brief background the history related to that development and then you can start with the scope so sub branches and all of suppose if is biological anthropology uski sub branches kafi sari hoti hain socio cultural anthropology there are lot of sub branches so that comes under the scope fir uske baad relevance hota hai so relevance includes applications it its contemporary relevance that is also very very important so you have this common format around which you can work on this particular section so that helps when you have this common format then you can adequately find content okay and usse fir kaam chal jata hai that is more than enough for this and whenever there is one thing sir taught me whenever you are asked to compare between two subjects comparison always includes similarities and differences both i'll just like to point that out generally if i say compare this and this you will just give me the differences right so that is not the case it includes similarities as well okay so this is basically the basics of anthropology ab aisa nahi hai ki main aapko padhane baith jaunga ek ek basic sir ka role hai wo sir will do that and you have to do it on your own but i am just giving you a very brief over over overall brief about these sections and each and every section ka i'll just be giving a brief okay so this is mainly about basics of anthropology and remember please always try to highlight the contemporary relevance of the fields biological anthropology hai. highlight molecular biology highlight all the latest happenings going on in these fields this is very very important you have to link anthropology is a very dynamic subject this is true for each and every section not just this section always try to have this understanding okay so next part of the syllabus is what i call culture and society basically the core of socio cultural anthropology so this includes your unit 2 3 4 5 5 2 5 to include society culture marriage religion family kinship and these are economic political organizations and that is religion okay so this is kind of you can say the main core of your socio cultural anthropology that is a part of your section a of paper 1 generally part of the section a of paper 1 okay so here i just like to highlight the role of scholars and books it is very very important that you know the scholars and books associated with these concepts 
in general anthropology as well you have to heavily focus on scholars and not just scholars their books as well for example let me just give you an example so if you have to define culture generally what happens is we'll say ki as per eb tyler there is a scholar eb tyler who has who is associated with the first proper authentic definition of culture so as per eb tyler culture is so and so theek hai this is one way but another better way is eb tyler in his book the primitive culture 1871 is the year as far as i remember i don't remember it exactly now in his book the primitive culture has defined culture as this you have to focus on both of these components these things i am telling you right now so that if today if you are able to imbibe these in your mind then your preparation will become in a more focused manner ho sakta hai you are not understanding eb tyler you are not understanding the book not understanding culture i am not saying you to understand them right now i am just saying you to focus on the broad thing i am telling here and that is please remember your scholars and their books that is very very important and that is true for the entire section is case mein to bahut zyada hai and suppose say there is this concept status and role so generally usme the scholar associated with that is ralph linton okay but many of us do not focus on the book in which he gave those concepts generally nahi karte what i made my priority was to find that book इंटरनेट से निकालूंगा कहीं से भी निकालूंगा आई एल फाइंड दैट बुक एंड आई एल मेंशन दैट इन माय आंसर एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू वर्क इन माय फेवर एग्जामिनर इट कैचेस द आई बिकॉज यू आर एक्चुअली शोइंग योर अप्रिसिएशन फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट दिस इज ऑप्शनल दिस इज नॉट जनरल स्टडीज प्लीज रिमेंबर थोड़ा सा इसको जो है अकेडमिक ओरिएंटेशन से सोचिए तो स्कॉलर उसकी बुक आई विल ट्राई टू जस्ट फाइंड इट आउट एनी वेयर कहीं से कहीं से ढूंढूंगा सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस द बुक इज द स्टडी ऑफ मैन जस्ट गिविंग यू एन एग्जाम्पल सो ऑलवेज हैव दिस माइंड सेट कुछ भी आंसर्स लिख रहे हो सपोज से इवन इफ यू आर मेकिंग नोट प्लीज इंक्लूड दीज थिंग्स एंड यू हैव टू हेविली यूज एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड दिस इज पेपर वन but that does not mean you will not use indian examples aisa nahi hai ki you will be just focusing on world examples both are equally important right so you generally use the example of say trobriander's australian aborigines and all and also try to include indian examples as well because it helps you to connect between paper 1 and paper 2 when when you do that again it is appreciated in the exam so always focus on both sets of answers वर्ल्ड के लिए भी एंड इंडियन ट्राइब्स का भी या फिर इंडियन सोसाइटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ लिंकेजेस मैरिज है रिलीजन है इन दीज चैप्टर्स यू फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ लिंकेजेस ओके एंड अगेन कंटेम्प्रेरी रेलिवेंस इज वेरी मच नीडेड स्पेशली इन दीज सेक्शन इकोनॉमिक पोलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज एज वी ऑल नो इन मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड द इकोनॉमिक पोलिटिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टेट इन इफेक्ट राइट to show that in your answers okay so i hope you are able to understand ekdam upar upar se nahi nikal raha hai right even agar nikal raha hai i can just make it out from a few faces don't worry once you start reading no once you start giving time to this after one or two months you will more properly understand what i am saying next section that is theories okay so theories basically includes your unit 6 and this is this was my personal favorite this was my personal favorite section and i used to love it and i was very very confident in that and it ultimately helped me a lot because paper 1 mein there were a lot of questions this time on theories so jaise victor gordon child pe there was this question मुझे वो तक एक एक चीज आती थी उसकी बिकॉज आई वॉज सो वेरी वेल वर्स विद दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन दिस वॉज माई पर्सनल फेवरेट सो इसमें भी वॉट हैपन इज जनरली दिस सेक्शन कॉज इज ट्रबल टू दी एस्परेंट्स क्योंकि इस पे समटाइम्स इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड अ फ्यू ऑफ दी थियोरीज समटाइम्स मैटर उतना नहीं मिलता बट आई फील दैट वंस यू स्टार्ट टू वर्क इन अ बेसिक डिफाइंड फॉर्मैट देन यू कैन गैदर एडिकुएट कंटेंट ऑन इट 
तो इसमें भी देर इज अ वेरी कॉमन फॉर्मैट इसमें भी अगेन स्कॉलर्स एंड बुक्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली थियोरीज आर गिवन बाय स्कॉलर्स एंड दे हैव बीन गिवन इन देयर बुक्स तो अगेन यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अब जो है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव बीन आस्ट टू डिफाइन अ थियोरी सो अगेन अ कॉमन फॉर्मैट इज देयर यू कैन ऑब्वियसली गिव अ ब्रीफ डेफिनेशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर थियोरी अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन देन यू स्टार्ट विद द स्कूल ऑफ थॉट so school of thought basically includes the schools as well as the scholars which are associated with this particular theory and then the basic underlying concepts about the theory and then the merits and demerits and finally you conclude ye this is the basic format for a theory and when you work under this format then it becomes easier for you to organize the content right content is there in upadhyay's book it is there on the online site as i was saying it is there in sir's book as well so from these sources you can gather adequate content and again agar aapko scholar ke bare mein pucha gaya there are certain questions which ask you to define the scholar for example as i was mentioning victor gordon child so 10 mark ka question generally rehte hain so in that case again you start with an introduction that this particular scholar is associated with this this particular school of thought then you mention his publications again very important you mention a few of his works then you start with the contributions of that particular scholar again common format so you have to play smart aisa nahi hai har theory ke liye you will be working in a different format and you will be maximizing your work your workload please play smart have this common format work under it minimize and in this particular section i found the relevance of diagrams in this particular theories so generally what happens is ki diagrams are skipped for this particular section you will include diagrams for culture and society part especially in marriage and all but we tend to skip diagrams here don't do that develop your own diagrams okay so that can help for example you want to show a particular concept you can use a schematic diagram to explain that in the case there is this concept psychic unity of mankind i used to explain that through a diagram i develop my own so have these things make your answers unique stand out and this also saves a lot of time so do not ignore the relevance of diagrams anywhere generally we tend to put them in certain sections okay i am just giving you a broad overview agar main zyada andar bhi jaunga so it will only bounce from your head or that is not required yeah uh okay i can give you a diagram but i don't know how much will people understand here for example there is this concept psychic unity of mankind as i am saying okay generally that concept what it says is that it was a concept given by the classical evolutionist so you will read about these things and you know, i do not kind of get overwhelmed by these but that said ki when people they are in the same environment their mental ability their mental state is kind of the same and that is why their cultural responses also come out similar that was basically an overview of crux as far as i can remember so what i did was i developed this diagram this is society a always put tables for example society a society b okay two different societies living in the same environment okay i'll just label it living in the same environment they have a similar mental state similar state of mind and that is why their cultural response is similar that is an axe a diagram of an axe so tools are a cultural response so this basically rather than writing in proper words and sentences i'll just write this diagram and that is more than enough to explain the concept and i am pretty sure there is no one else who has done this in out of all the people who have attempted i am pretty sure this is going to make my answer stand out obviously why would i explain it again i'll be putting labels 
ऐसा नहीं है सिर्फ ऐसे आइकन्स बना के छोड़ दिए तो ये लेबल्स डाले कि लिविंग इन सिमिलर एनवायरमेंट दैट इज वाई सिमिलर स्टेट ऑफ माइंड दैट इज वाई सिमिलर कल्चरल रिस्पॉन्स दिस इज बेसिकली एंड आई जस्ट लेबल इट फिगर साइकिक यूनिटी ऑफ मैन काइंड या अकॉर्डिंगली सो दिस येस माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग मैंने खुद से ये किया है आई हैव नॉट सीन इट एनी वेयर दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल सो दीज थिंग्स ना आई लर्न दैट दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई यूज टू थिंक अलॉट या राधर देन जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट अगेन एंड वेस्टिंग माई टाइम बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इट विल टेक टाइम एंड सपोज से इन अ टेन मार्क अ क्वेश्चन आई डोंट हैव इनफ टाइम आई कैन नॉट यूज अप द इंटायर स्पेस फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर कंसेप्ट सो वाई नॉट डू इट थ्रू अ प्रॉपर डायग्राम सो दीज थिंग्स मेक अ डिफरेंस ओके सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू दिस इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ डायग्राम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन एज वेल जस्ट गिविंग यू सर्टेन न्यू थिंग्स टू थिंक अबाउट बाकी तो यार जनरल सबको पता होता है राइट ओके देन लेट मी मूव ऑन टू दी नेक्स्ट सेक्शन एंड दैट इज एवोल्यूशन इन जेनेटिक्स एंड फोर्सेस सो आई जनरली कंबाइन दैम this is the crux of your physical anthropology your section b and this is very very scoring section it is difficult sometimes to memorize it to remember it to work on the diagrams but it is a rewarding section in my paper 1 i was very very adamant that maximum questions i am going to be attempting from them and that is why i think it worked in my case i was able to score 171 in paper 1 despite the fact that i left 20 marks questions i was not able to complete the paper because i panicked at that time paper thoda difficult aa gaya tha so despite that because my quality shown in this and in this that is however not at all not relevant to you because you have to properly complete the paper and do justice to each and everything but sir has always said this and i am again going to repeat this always try to attempt questions from this section am i audible so always try to attempt questions from these these sections these are scoring yes they are painstaking but they are scoring so it includes i am okay i can tell you the units as well 1.4 1.7 and the entire unit 9 usme 9.1 se leke 9.8 aata hai 10 11 and i also include 12 in this the applications part so this is the evolution in genetics and 1.5 1.6 i think is the fossils part okay so ye units i consider them to be a part of this and again isme uh, what happens is that one thing i feel the biggest error students tend to make is trying to master tinath or whatever book they are referring and they tend to go so deep into the biological concepts and all ultimately it does not prove useful because if you see peanut if you see other books thoda zyada detailed mein hai bahut zyada detail mein biology de rakhi hai bahut zyada detail mein evolution de rakha hai that is not needed for you so be smart utna kijiye jitna aapke answers ke liye hai agar previous year questions aap dekhenge so that will pretty much cover the entire section to usko kar lijiye acha one thing i just want to highlight in the middle is that what used to happen was when i used to develop these model question answers people used to say to me some of my friends yeah tu bahut rigid ho raha hai you are being too rigid what if question comes from outside the answers you have developed why are you kind of limiting them rather to jo hai broad notes bana dene chahiye so i did not agree with them because what i used to do was suppose i have done a question if there is any extra content which i feel is relevant i used to note it down in the end so that is fine na you can note down the extra content below the relevant question so i am just i remembered this in the middle so kabhi ye mat sochna ki agar when you are working through question answers it is going to be rigid and you are limiting yourself nahi hota because if you are covering all the previous year questions along with the questions sir gives you along with the questions that come in your test practice test and all 
बी श्योर मैक्सिमम सिलेबस इज कवर्ड थोड़ा सा घुमा फिरा के आएगा यू विल बी एबल टू राइट इट बी श्योर अबाउट दैट एनी एक्स्ट्रा कंटेंट यू कैन नोट डाउन इन दी एंड ऑफ योर आंसर आई डेड इट फॉर दी एंटायर लेस जो भी अवेलेबल थी एट लीस्ट ऑल दैट विच आई फाउंड रेलिवेंट कुछ इन दी पास्ट ईयर्स बहुत पुराने साल के मे बी दे हैव गोन आउट ऑफ रेलिवेंस बट आई ट्राई टू कवर एज मच एज आई कुड तो वो लिमिट आप देख लीजिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिमिट योर सेल्फ टू दी लास्ट टेन ईयर्स और लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बट स्टिल आई रिकमेंड ट्राई टू लुक एट द लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बिकॉज वॉट हैपन समाइम्स इज जो क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आज इन दी लेट नाइन्टीज रिपीटेड एज इट इज समाइम्स आई सो दैट वेन आई वॉज काइंड ऑफ एनालाइजिंग दी ट्रेंड टू यू एनालाइज यू एनालाइज दी प्रीवियस यूर क्वेश्चन यू कंपेयर दैम विद दी रिसेंट क्वेश्चन एंड देन डिसाइड एज पर योर ओन अंडरस्टैंडिंग मैं आपको एक एक चीज तो नहीं बता सकता सो यू हैव टू डेवलप योर ओन अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन दीज केसेस कंसल्ट विद सर डिस्कस विद सर बट थिंक योर सेल्फ प्लीज डू दैट सेल्फ मेड क्वेश्चन इफ यू थिंक येस मे बी वाई नॉट कर सकते हो बट इतना भी नहीं कि फिर देन यू आर जस्ट वॉट हाँ यू कैन कंसल्ट विद सर बट इफ यू फील योर सेल्फ दैट येस दिस कैन हेल्प मी then you can do that for example in my case theories may there is this topic national character studies generally that is not covered by us generally wo book mein bhi hota hai but we tend to leave it but i realized ki yeah, maybe they can ask it somewhere so i developed a model answer on that and that came in the final paper 20 marker i think 15 marker maybe so again that helped me so if you think then you can obviously do it that depends on you complete in my case it was complete and let me be very honest it was even to the word in the sense word limit i used to follow isliye nahi ki examiner check karega to mere words ganega no isliye taaki i can complete the paper in time main 500 word ka answer likh ke baith gaya ek 10 marker question ke liye what is the point kya karunga us answer ka yaar that is not going to help me and ultimately it is going to cost me because i'll try to then put all the 500 words when i am attempting the paper and i'll then heavily miss out on the other paper other other questions so i even used to follow the kind of a broad word limit 10 marker hai so i'll try to limit it within 150 to 180 words that was as per my speed so for example sir used to say 200 words so i tried writing 200 words i could not do that so maine kaha then i'll have to work my own way So I limited it to 150 to 180. I ensured that I develop the best possible answer in these words only. Tabi that is why a few of my friends used to say, "Yar, you are getting too rigid." So then, if agar mujhe kuch extra lagta tha, then I used to include that in the end. I'll just put extra, and then I'll write two, three points extra. But I used to develop the best possible answer in the word limit, respecting the word limit. because you will realize it yourself when you give test it is difficult to complete the paper that is why i used to do it and it worked for me okay and obviously in this particular section diagrams are very very important because you have to include a lot of diagrams it is all about biology it is all about evolution fossils so you have to focus heavily on the diagram and for beat of any diagram beat a pedigree be it about cell division and all be it about the skulls and all so diagrams has to be heavily focused by you and schematic diagrams as well and sir will give you for example race formation sir i remember there used to be a schematic when you are writing write accordingly okay Absolutely, please always try to interlink. For example, theories and this section, culture and society, these are heavily interlinked. For example, in the case of religion, functionalism, जो theory है, that has a lot of linkage. I always used to do that. हमेशा link करूँगा और उसको underline करूँगा. Examiner, please see to this. Please see the linkage that I have created between the two topics. That is appreciated. और पेपर टू में भी कहीं कहीं बैठ जाता है बिकॉज थ्योरीज आर अल्टीमेटली दी कॉर्नर स्टोन ऑफ द एंटायर सब्जेक्ट राइट सो ऑलवेज ट्राई टू लिंक थिंग्स 
यार आप कहीं भी कीजिए दैट इज अप टू यू बट प्लीज ट्राई टू डू दैट एंड हाईलाइट इट ताकि दिख जाए या तो अगेन ही सेइंग की दी कंटेंट दैट इज शेयर्ड ऑन व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स एंड ऑल हाउ टू मेक यूज ऑफ दैट तो सर विल शेयर दी कंटेंट ईच डे ऐसा तो नहीं है सर विल वेट फॉर यू अच्छा आप ये पढ़ रहे हैं तो मैं सिर्फ यही कंटेंट डालूंगा दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन सो यू सेव दी कंटेंट समवेयर and when you are reading that particular subject revisit that content and then try to add it in your answers for example sir used to share articles of epw which i am going to highlight in paper 2 excellent case studies excellent case studies for tribal part so i used to just save them somewhere in my laptop and when i was now reading the topic i used to ensure that i'll revisit these and see where i can use them similarly the case for each and every topic just save the news article just save the link even that is more than enough and then when you are reading that see to it how useful it is okay so yeah these are basic things work on your own develop your own understanding yeah the last question about paper 1 then i'll take a paper 2 suppose you are trying to create a linkage between something that you are reading purely mm -hmm. to the topics of culture and society suppose in relation to the environment right. and then you are trying to Okay. Yes, as of now, and always you can improve on them, because when you are working after prelims, your own task should be to improve. So, what I want you is, what I want you to do is that, for example, in my case, I was working uh, from July to October end in developing these model answers. So I prepared them, and then after pre, I again started to work on improving the quality. So when you are working after pre. on these answers then to you would have completed the course at least once so then maybe you can just edit make a few edits into your answers and try to create these linkages because there is always scope for improvement obviously this is a natural question she is saying that i have read this particular topic i have still not read this particular topic so i can naturally not create the linkage as of now but you can do it once you have completed the syllabus so that is why i am saying before pre try to develop at least that particular set first set of your model answer or maybe if you are not working in that format first set of your notes ek baar to syllabus please do it before the prelims i am not saying ki aap rat ke baith jaiye pura ka pura because ultimately you will forget but at least go through the syllabus once and develop your notes or your answers whichever way you work in and because after that after prelims you have to work on improving the quality and then obviously you have to memorize them or do whatever is needed to be done to write the answers in the test okay so i'll be now starting with paper 2 i hope it was clear okay okay so first of all the resources again a formality i have to complete so archaeology i have included in paper 2 so for that i read dk bhattacharya there is this book of dk bhattacharya so that is a good book in my opinion and uh, again wet sir's introduction to social cultural anthropology has certain sections that are part of paper 2 as well people generally tend to skip them कुछ को पता नहीं होता कि दिस पर्टिकुलर बुक है सर्टेन सेक्शन ऑन कास्ट ऑन सोसाइटी एंड एज वेल दैट आर पार्ट ऑफ योर पेपर टू एंड इंडियन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बाय नदीम हसनाइन ट्राइबल इंडिया बाय द सेम ऑथर नदीम हसनाइन एंड देन वेड सर्स नोट्स दे आर वेरी गुड स्पेशली ऑन दी कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू द इंडियन सोसाइटी वेरी वेरी गुड नोट्स एंड फॉर ट्राइबल इंडिया एज वेल Where says notes and current affairs may you have to now refer to the current affairs resources because you need case studies. So sir is going to share that so EPW as I mentioned used to be I used to find that very good. EPW का access generally I think it is a paid subscription but sir shares certain articles so please save them. Save कर लीजिए because they are very very good case studies. Sir gives you from other sources as well so always. have those case studies 
अदरवाइज खुद से भी ढूंढो वाई आर यू कंप्लीटली डिपेंडेंट ऑन सर खुद से ढूंढो स्क्रोल द इंटरनेट डाउन टू अर्थ पे कभी कभी अच्छे के स्टडीज होते हैं सर्टेन मुझे याद है इंटरनेट पे मिल ही जाते हैं न्यूज पेपर्स में होते हैं हिंदू में समटाइम्स दे वन और टू वेरी गुड के स्टडी एक एंटायर पेज आता था कभी कभी अबाउट सर्टेन ट्राइबल्स एंड ऑल सो राइट संडे या सैटरडे को आता था सो ऑलवेज हैव दीज थिंग्स इन माइंड आई एम नॉट सेंग की इमीजिएटली वेन यू सी दैट जस्ट स्टार्ट टू रीड इट एंड कन्वर्ट इट इन टू योर नोट्स जस्ट सेव इट सेव द लिंक सेव दी पी डी एफ सेव दी हार्ड कॉपी सेव इट समवेयर and then when you are reading it just refer to it again okay and uh, then acha one more source is there there is this online source dr abhik ghosh uh, history of anthropology in india so that basically includes a brief about different indian anthropologist so there is this section in paper 2 where indian and uh, the book is uh, th- that is not a book that is basically an online pdf so it is by dr abhik ghosh and the name is history of anthropology in india so if you type it on google it will come so this was shared by sir only okay so that book contains brief about different different indian anthropologist and that is a part of your paper too i hope people know that nahi hai to please go through the syllabus so these are the basic resources okay right so i'll now again be covering certain topic wise the crux of paper 2 so let me start with archaeology so i include paper 1's component here as well paper 1 is about world level paper 2 is specifically about indian level so i used to read them simultaneously okay so jo hai isme again there is this general format sir gives it you start with an introduction you start with uh, the time period the climate okay and then the tool type technology and then the regional variations and finally the cultural social life so that is a basic format you know that is, was given by sir and wo usme hi aapko you have to work you have to adequately organize your content as per these uh, sub headings and what happens is ki isme definition is also very important for example paleolithic culture you can define it paleolithic culture is refers to the cultural debris that is associated with the entire pleistocene epoch for example ye this is definition which i worked out so you can introduce the entire particular culture with this particular definition so develop a particular definition to start and then through the sub headings cover the entire answer here what happens is that individual sites are asked and sometimes it becomes a burden to remember so many sites you have to play smart here again how for example they are asking you a particular site related to a particular period please keep maximum content that is com- that is general suppose say, let me just give you an example suppose there there is this site of langnaj theek hai there is this archaeological site so it is associated with the mesolithic period तो ऐसा नहीं है कि अब आप जो है एकदम लंगनाज के स्पेसिफिक एक एक वर्ड ढूंढोगे कि जो आपने कंटेंट मीजोलिथिक के लिए डेवलप किया है दैट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन 90 परसेंट देर एक दो स्पेशल फीचर्स आप डाल दोगे जस्ट वन और टू स्पेशल फीचर्स मिनिमाइज योर वर्कलोड अब लंगनाज पर ही स्पेसिफिक एकदम स्पेसिफिक आंसर बना दिया अब ऐसे देर आर ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी मोर साइट्स अब उन पर भी आंसर बनाएंगे एक एक कहा से याद करोगे कैसे करोगे प्ले स्मार्ट कीप दी कंटेंट कॉमन ये आपको देखो यू हैव टू डेवलप कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू द टाइम पीरियड मीजोलिथिक के लिए आपको करना ही करना है तो अब मैक्सिम वही का वही उठाओ ना अगर वही से एसोसिएटेड है वो साइट सो बस एक दो स्पेशल फीचर डाल दो इसके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस के इसकी लोथल साइट से उसका एक कनेक्शन है और उसमें जो बरियल्स थे वो एक पर्टिकुलर पोस्टर में मिले दे वो फाउंड इन अ पर्टिकुलर पोस्टर सो जस्ट दीज टू स्पेशल थिंग्स rest the entire content that matches with the mesolithic part right so just have this idea how will this idea come when you think ki yaar if a question appears how i am going to attempt itna main yaad kaise rakh paunga likh to maine liya notes to bana liye bhai kaise yaad honge ye right so you have to 
place safe, you have to play smart. And I am making your work easier by telling you beforehand. Rest it is up to you to follow or not. Okay. So, and in this particular section, you have to heavily use maps and diagrams. Maps may please be comfortable. World map ho, India map ho, specific ek region ka map ho India ke. You can become comfortable after adequate practice. You have to just draw a basic brief map. Asa nahi ek dhami badi atlas wala map banaya. That is not at all needed. You will not have the time as well. But you have to be comfortable in making maps. You have to be ready. Regional variations, fat fat map pe sites dekha di. Right? So these things are required here. And again, diagrams hote hain for tools, for uh, te tool technology mainly. So diagrams are also a part of this. These all things will be available in your content that you have. Sir ke notes, Bhatta Charya book. So th they will be available there. But you need to have them. Ensure that these are a part of your answers when you attempt the final exam. So Indian society basically includes the two, three, five. Basically, it includes all the Indian social system concepts related to that, Sanskritization, NMS complex and caste system. So, all these things, unit 235 as far as I remember. So, in this case, where sir's notes are very, very good, very good. You will find more than required content there. Content pura yaha se mil jayega. So, you have to again then work by making your own notes or making your own answers. So, this may you have to heavily use Indian scholars and their works. So, there are a lot of scholars, MN Srinivas ho gaye, and so many more, bhoat sare scholars hain isme, Indian scholars specifically. So, you have to make use of them and their books again. Again, I am highlighting this point. Unki books fir mat bhool jana. Books bhi bhoat zaruri hain. Okay, so please remember that. And again, you have to make heavy use of examples. Indian tribes, Indian society, please make heavy use of examples. Indian examples specifically. Because this paper, entire paper 2 is mainly about Indian anthropology. So, adequate examples you have to have. And case studies here also. Aspirants, they tend to ignore case studies relevance here. Tribes, ke liye to, they will get all the latest case studies, multiple case studies, but they tend to ignore it in this particular section. Please don't do that. For example, village studies, hai. I still remember there was this single uh, sheet that sir gave me of four or five very latest case studies. I used it so, so much in my answers. I used to use it everywhere. Those four or five case studies, I still remember. So, just a single sheet, sir, I remember you gave. And that used to be so helpful. So, please do not forget case studies here. People tend to do that. Case studies include KJ. For example, you have to, there are questions based on the impact of a religion on the society. Impact of Christianity. Case study dhundiye. Milengi latest case studies milengi. 2017, 2018 case studies milengi. So, you please do not forget the role of case studies here. Village studies may be just for example, I just gave you an example right now. Impact of globalization poochte hain on the Indian society. Case studies saying dekhai hai. So please do not forget the role of case studies. Okay. And uh, mainly this is the crux about Indian society. And it is again a very interesting section to read. Thoda maza leke padhi hai. Physical anthropology mein kabhi kabhi thoda sa wo pain hota hai. But here you can actually read with a lot of interest. So develop that interest and ultimately focus, remember these certain basic things. Then obviously you have the section Tribal India, which is a very significant part, right? And very interesting part again. So here in this particular section, there is a static part. Static part kya hai? Jo basically unke demography hai, that is static. Constitutional provisions you have to remember, that is a static part. Jo biogenetic variability, that is again a static part. Okay, so please give due emphasis on these static parts as well. 
generally we sometimes tend to ignore them and just focus on the problems and getting the case studies and all please do not ignore the static part because these questions when they come they can give you good marks okay so please remember these static parts and one more thing here always focus on policies and reports please remember this for tribal india for example they are asking questions on forest rights act they have been doing so for the past few years so prepare your best answer on this particular policy koi bhi policy sarkar ki latest policies you have to have in mind latest policies and the major policies as well acts as well so rehabilitation act tha jitni bhi aise acts hain you have to prepare a solid answer on it solid note on it please remember the role of policies and the role of reports so for example there was this commission that was set up recently i think it was date commission i something like that right so that was for the uh, denotified tribes right so please always be aware of these current happenings and quote them in your answers so there is this question on denotified tribes in the recommendations you write as per date commission following recommendations 1 2 3 4 khaka committee report uska jo hai relevance obviously it has now kind of reduced as compared to previous years but still unki recommendations if a few of recommendations you can keep then it is helpful because you can just mention that but khaka committee se aage badhiye ab thoda sirf us pe dependent mat rahiye okay yeah more on the recommendations and you can also see out the case studies as well sometimes in reports mein case studies bhi hoti hain aur problems bhi batate hain hai na so a very brief reading broad reading but focusing mainly on the recommendations right and budget budget ko mat bhuliye budget always gives you the amount of money that the government has allocated to the ministry of tribal affairs also on the various policies so please remember the budget as well so i used to tell me ki please also include for example the amount that has been allocated so i used to include that in my answers these things matter these are very small things and please remember one thing i just want to tell you that if sir is saying one thing na ki focus on these he is saying it with a reason do not ignore them i will be coming to this point okay so i will be coming to this point later तो अभी ये याद रखिए कि बजट इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बजट नीति आयोग इज ऑल्सो नाउ वट इज मेकिंग सर्टेन रिकमेंडेशन ऑन ट्राइब्स फॉर दी ट्राइबल वेलफेयर एंड डेवलपमेंट सो ऑलवेज बी अवेयर अबाउट दिस करेंट डेवलपमेंट ऑलवेज हैव अ लुक आउट फॉर देम और अगर आपको सपोज से डेली रीडिंग में नहीं आई तो कोई बात नहीं स्पेसिफिकली सर्च फॉर इट खुद से लग जाइए इंटरनेट पर ढूंढने के लिए कि रिसेंटली हो क्या रहा है भाई ठीक है इट इज एंटायरली फेयर इट इज एंटायरली पॉसिबल दैट व्हेन यू आर रीडिंग द न्यूज़पेपर डेली यू माइट नॉट हैव कम थ्रू दीज न्यूज परफेक्टली ओके बट वंस यू स्टार्ट रीडिंग दीज टॉपिक्स डेवलपिंग योर नोट्स और आंसर्स देन मेक इट अ पॉइंट दैट यू सर्च अबाउट दीज थिंग्स प्लीज रिमेंबर दीज थिंग्स नाउ बिकॉज इफ यू डू नॉट डू दीज नाउ देन इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू डू इट लेटर ऑन प्रेलम्स के बाद यह बहुत लोड आता है एकदम ऐसा लोड आता है so you have to remember do a lot of things in a very short span of time so that is why this is the stage to prepare the content best possible content and obviously you can work on it you have to work on it afterwards but ek basic aapko abhi banana hai okay and then naturally you have to include a lot of case studies here and one smart thing which i used to do was that ab suppose say you have to highlight a particular problem education is related to uh, tribes or suppose say we were talking about denotified tribes so unki aapko problems highlight karni hai so i used to do that through a case study only ab aisa nahi hai ki main sirf ek main pehle problems list down karunga 1 2 3 4 5 and then i'll again write a case study that is going to consume a lot of my time so just through the case study i am going to mention the problem and one more thing case study mein always quote the source Always quote the source of the case study. So, up subheading, dalie case study. Mention the course. E, uh, sorry, source. E P W. 
national geographic or whatever source down to earth and if possible if possible you can include the author very well if possible agar aapko yaad rahe but source to likhna hi likhna hai with the year epw bracket 2018 bas itna likh do authenticity add karo to apne answers mein and then i used to highlight the problem with the case study only i used to write a paragraph properly underline the problem aspect and that is it i will not repeat again wapas 1 2 3 4 5 karke pehle i will be writing problems and then i will be writing a case study no one case study through that show all the problems that i want to show that's it so uske liye i used to find the best case study that covers the maximum problems और मैं बता रहा हूँ अगर सपोज से मुझे एकदम नहीं मिल रही थी तो मैं उस केस स्टडी को थोड़ा सा मॉडिफाई करके खुद भी डाल देता था उसमें प्ले स्मार्ट ना यार और होंगी वो प्रॉब्लम ठीक है वो ऑथर ने नहीं इंक्लूड की मैंने थोड़ी सी और डाल दिया सपोज से ऐसा नहीं है कि भाई फर्ज करके मॉडिफाई करके पूरे ही बदल दिया उसका बट थ्रू दिस केस स्टडी ओनली आई यूज टू शो दी प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड फ्लो चार्ट हेल्प अलॉट है फ्लो चार्ट हेल्प अलॉट सो सर विल बी गिविंग यू अव फ्लो चार्ट सो रिलेटेड टू पॉवर्टी ट्राइबल डिप्रिवेशन एंड ऑल सो ऑलवेज यू स्लो चार्ज बेसिक फ्लो चार्ज शो दी इंटरलिंकेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू कैन सी लैंड एलियनेशन डिसप्लेसमेंट कल्चरल डिप्रिवेशन दीज आर ऑल लिंक इन द केस ऑफ ट्राइब्स उनके लैंड से ही एसोसिएटेड है उनका कल्चर जब वेन यू आर टेकिंग देयर लैंड then you are actually taking their culture for them from them so think about these things and show that through flow diagram show these linkages right so these all things sir will also tell you so as to give you an idea but please remember these when you are making your answers and always another thing i want to highlight here is that this particular section it links very well with this amazingly well so please include the keywords of this section in your answers please do that keywords for example nms complex tribe caste continuum little great traditions ye sab can be a part of this particular topic if you want to if you want to so jo answers you are developing for them always think ki how can i include the keywords here इट इज वेरी वेरी इजी संस्कृतिजेशन है ट्राइब्स के आंसर में कैन यू नॉट इंक्लूड संस्कृतिजेशन कैन यू नॉट लिंक इट विद संस्कृतिजेशन सिमिलरली ग्रेट लिटल ट्रेडिशन कैन यू नॉट डू दैट एन एम एस कॉम्प्लेक्स तो है ट्राइब्स पर ट्राइब कास्ट कंटिन्यूम में वर्ड ट्राइब आ रहा है सो ऑलवेज इन श्योर दैट यू यूज दीज की वर्ड प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट सो दैट हेल्प अ लॉट दैट शोज अगेन दैट लिंकेज एंड दैट इज रिवॉर्डेड rewarded with the marks try to appreciate the subject this will only come when you appreciate the subject okay try to find linkages so that works a lot similarly this can be linked with the paper 1 culture and society as well 2 3 4 5 religion ho gaya marriage ho gaya again linkage aata hai idhar theory se linkage aata hai idhar That will only come जब आपके दिमाग में ये चीज होगी कि यार मुझे I have to find that linkage. Work upon it. Work upon these things. Then only will these come. Right? And finally, there is one more section. Indian, uh, you can call it Indian anthropology. Basically, the development of Indian anthropology. So it includes uh, the units four and nine point two and nine point three. basically these are about the contribution of anthropology in tribal rural development and all so iske liye content will come from these from whatever you have read isme indian anthropologists ke bare mein pucha jata hai vidyarthi sir ke bare mein puch liya hai na kisi aur professor ke bare mein puch liya any scholar ke bare mein puch liya so always the same content will come from here only you have to remember the publications okay so again there is this common format and this can be easily worked out similarly contribution of anthropology in tribal development again use these things 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन एम एस कॉम्प्लेक्स है सो इफ एज पॉलिसी मेकर्स यू आर अवेयर अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉम्प्लेक्स इनफैक्ट एल पी विद्यार्थी सर प्रोफेसर एल पी विद्यार्थी एड हाईलाइटेड दैट एनी डेवलपमेंटल पॉलिसी यू वॉन्ट टू मेक दैट हैज टू बी इन सिंक विद दी नेचर मैन स्पिरिट कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ दी ट्राइब स्पेशली इन दी केसेज ऑफ पी वी टी जीज ये आ गया आपका आंसर में पूरा लिंक बैठ गया स्कॉलर भी आ गया कंसेप्ट भी आ गया पी वी टी जीज भी आ गया सब आ गया सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन कंटेंट विल कम फ्रॉम हेयर ओनली यू हैव टू डू दीज थिंग्स ऑन योर ओन एंड दे विल कम वंस यू स्टार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड यू अप्रिशिएट दिस सब्जेक्ट दिस इज नॉट रॉकेट साइंस हो सकता है अभी आपको लग रहा हूँ कि यार ये तो हमने कभी सोचा ही नहीं या फिर यार इतना ज़्यादा करना पड़ता है ये तो आइडिया ही नहीं था वॉट इज ही सेंग ओ माई गॉड दीज आर वेरी बेसिक नॉर्मल थिंग्स and these are going to give you marks and going to develop your interest when you start to develop your interest when maza aane lagta hai na padhne mein tab naturally you will tend to have better answers have better notes okay so basically again this is about paper 1 paper 2 right paper 2 mein any four five questions abhi aap puch sakte hain then i'll be wrapping it up the anthropology <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. In my case, it was with in sync with what sir was teaching, the order in which sir was teaching, and after the classes had completed, I kind of say thought that okay, yeah, this section, this pe answers rahe gaye kafi sare. I was not able to write when sir was teaching, so I'll pick up that section, which I think that a lot needs to be work upon. I always used to pick my weaker sections first. Do not leave them for later on. generally we tend to focus only on our strengths and work upon them that is good your strengths are going to matter for example in my case theories was my strength i was very good in it but that does not mean that i'll kind of delay the things that i am weak in for example when the classes had ended i was not comfortable with this in my case so i started with this so that depends on you Yeah. So now, how do we get satisfied in a day? You decide, okay, I, I want to finish marriage, and uh, you finish the study. So, hmm. and what was your daily schedule like? ठीक है यार देखो डेली स्केड्यूल एज आई मैं जो ब्रॉड स्ट्रेटेजीज थी ना दैट टाइम लाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन आई वॉज इन दुलाई टू अक्टूबर स्टेज वेन आई वॉज वर्किंग फॉर दी फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन दीज आंसर देन आई यूज टू मेक आंसर गेट देम रिव्यूड बाई सर ओके कीप इट after when i gave test i realized that again i can make them better for example many in many cases i thought that i can include books scholars diagrams all these things that i have mentioned so again i after pre started to work upon them and then obviously you have to reach a area where you say that this is enough ho gaya ab is pe and you have to just now revise that so naturally after prelims say after you have again visited that particular matter again improve them After maybe one or two tries, just stop. Yeah, you have to do that on your own. Naturally, you have limited time. You have to write a test on it. Be satisfied. Okay. Now I'm I'm content myself that this is the best possible answer I could have written on it. Time लगता है. Time लगता है. It takes time. so it used to take me around 45 minutes to 1 hour to develop a answer i'll be very honest with you very blunt and very honest takes time because anthropology mein what happens is that sometimes you need to refer multiple resources to get the best content right but that is ultimately rewarding as well in my case it was depends on you so in my case i did not take coaching for general studies ठीक है अगेन आई एम हाईलाइटिंग दिस कोई भी अगर मेरा रिजल्ट भी क्लेम कर रहा है दैट मे बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अ मॉक इंटरव्यू सो आई डिड नॉट टेक कोचिंग फॉर जीएस सो जो जुलाई अक्टूबर एंड का स्टेज था आई हैड मैक्सिमम टाइम फॉर माय ऑप्शनल इफ यू आर वर्किंग सपोज यू आर टेकिंग कोचिंग इन जी एस ऑल्सो देन ऑल्सो इट इज परफेक्टली फाइन ऐसा नहीं है कि आप नहीं कर पाएंगे बिकॉज श्रेयांश ऑल्सो यूज टू डू इट मैनी सक्सेसफुल कैंडिडेट्स हैव डन इट बट यू हैव टू एडिकुएटली मैनेज योर टाइम राइट हो सकता है आप एक घंटा ना दे पाए तो आधा घंटा दे दीजिए 
but that was how i worked it depends on your circumstances if you think that okay note ye question answer model answers are taking too much time then maybe you can develop short notes that depends on you main aapko ab jo hai bas alternatives dikha sakta hu ultimately you have to decide on yourself by yourself based on your circumstances right नहीं मतलब ये आंसर फॉर एग्जांपल देर आर सर्टेन आंसर्स दैट सर डिक्टेट यू मोर और लेस दे आर वेरी गुड उनको तो आप याद कर लीजिए अगर इफ सपोज से इफ यू थिंक देर इज अ स्कोप ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल एक बुक ऐड कर दी मैंने मैं वो बुक ढूंढ के और लिया ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बस बट जो सर डिक्टेट करते हैं मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टाइम्स आई डोंट थिंक देर इज एनी नीड फॉर चेंज इन दैन Yeah, for example, I must have written around 500 to 600 questions. Or, I have also forgotten. All. How to go about uh, anthropology? Uh, and that is not difficult. It is not that you might be thinking that I am a genius or something. No, I am a very average student. I have always been. Okay, but the thing is. कि दीज व माई डेवलप्ड आंसर्स दैट इज वॉट अल्टीमेटली मैटर मैंने खुद ने बनाए थे मेजोरिटी बैठ बैठ के घंटे घंटे भर तक अब मैं ही नहीं याद कर पाऊँ तो मुझसे गया गुजरा कौन हो सकता है राइट सो दैट विल दैट कैन हैपन इफ यू आर एबल टू डेवलप नो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेज सो इन योर केस मे बी सपोज अक्टूबर एंड या नवम्बर वॉट एवर इट इज बिफोर प्री then after pre your task is to continuously revise them and work upon them improve certain sentences maybe add a one, one or two points but you have to do it right now agar pre se pehle kar liya then it makes your position very very comfortable you all have one year right now right majority of you so in your case it is absolutely feasible that is why i always highlight on the role of strategy approach in this case this period i used to read the newspaper and i used to write daily answers three four answers i used to write taki answer writing practice to chalu ho hai na obviously tab i did not have enough skill to write a three hour paper on this uh, gs topics tab nahi thi mere paas as i said theek hai i had given one pre but i had only superficial knowledge that to only related to prelims i had started in march 2017 और मैंने फिर जून में वो प्रिलम्स दे दिया था राइट सो इसलिए इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेज आई वाज फोकसिंग मेनली ऑन ऑप्शनल बट आंसर राइटिंग में करता था ताकि उस जीएस के लिए भी मेरे पास आने लग जाए एंड देन नवंबर से फेबररी आई फील फेबररी एंड इन माय केस सो आई फील्ड दैट दैट वाज इनफ टाइम टू प्रिपेयर मैक्सिमम टॉपिक्स ऐसा नहीं है कि आई वॉज एबल टू कम्प्लीट हंड्रेड टॉपिक्स ऑफ जी मैं जी एस आई डिड नॉट टच बिफोर प्री सर्टन टॉपिक्स ऑफ GS one two three also, but maximum I was able to do. It is perfectly feasible because I had all the time to myself. Maybe that also helped. My coaching to jata nahi tha kisi GS ki. Sir, if some static question occurred in that period, did uh, you refer to the sources for these for that? Uh, static question occurred, means? Uh, you followed CQR for four months. Yeah. And if uh, you followed only uh, the current questions or static questions? current editorials the editorials which i was reading i used to attempt questions on them there are platforms for example there are platforms like insight secure is baba and all these platforms so <coughs> yaar i used to upload but generally wo time consuming bahut ho jata tha ab kya aap usko upload karoge and then people one or two will comment and then you will counter comment fir aap lage hi rahoge pura discussion chal raha hai so generally i used to write i used to analyze myself see the top answers one or two top answers and just evaluate introduction step by step introduction the main body the conclusion and just see what was a better way of presenting unka koi better point hai mera koi better point hai so i used to just self evaluate that i believed was more time efficient as well as more rewarding as well acha uh, yeah
I used to write it on paper. But I also after I also used online for some of them. So you can do it online as well. I think I'll recommend. मतलब but the thing is that you have to show to sir as well, right? So आप उसको paper पर भी कर सकते हैं. But uh, for certain dynamic sections afterward, I used to write on online. For example, fossils, fossils, and some में contemporary बहुत ज़्यादा चलता रहता है. So I used to then use online. और उसमें मेरे को word limit का भी फायदा मिलता था. ऑनलाइन में अब क्या है कि इट विल शो यू दिन वर्ड्स इसमें तो क्या मैं एक एक करके गिनूंगा हर वक्त ही आई यूज टू फोकस हेविली ऑन वर्ड्स नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स आई डोंट नो आपके केस में इफ इट इज एप्लीकेबल और नॉट और वेदर इट इज रिकमेंडेड और नॉट बट इट वर्क फॉर मी हाँ पेजेस तो ठीक है बट यार अब आप बहुत छोटा छोटा लिख के बहुत ज्यादा भर दोगे उसमें आप देखना अल्टीमेटली दिस यू विल ओनली रियलाइज वेन यू गिव प्रॉपर टेस्ट Proper three hour test. You have to do one thing. Whatever answer you have developed, take a watch. Suppose say ten marker is seven minutes. My ideally it should be over. Try to do that. कर ही नहीं पाओगे अगर ज़्यादा लिख दिया तो. आप उसको कितना भी अच्छे से रट लो. एक एक word भी रट लो ना. You will not be able to finish. Suppose say ten marker के लिए three hundred words का answer बनाए बैठे हैं. Do you even if you by heart the entire answer. Word by word, letter by letter, just try writing in seven minutes. Just see, see your speed. Maybe you can. I was not able to do. I was not able to even write say two hundred words. Suppose say, चलो कैसे भी करके लिख भी दिया. अब क्या पूरे three घंटे के paper में करूँगा? Would I be able to do that? नहीं ना. So always think about the broad picture. Ultimately, you have to write an exam. You have to go and display whatever you know in that three hours. Does the examiner care about your knowledge which you have gained in one year, or does he care what you have displayed in the three hours? Uh, so just uh, uh, yeah. So just I'll be kind of uh, again telling you certain things again which I believe you must emphasize. I've already told them, but again I'll just mention. Focus on test, as I've said. then only will you realize what whether you are the way you are reading is right or not and always again emphasizing please focus on scholars and their books please do that koi bhi ek cheez hoti hai na uske likhne ke do dhang hote hain ek hai ki you just use normal sentences ek hai ki use it through scholars through their books uh, for example caste hai so you can write ki the upper caste they used to stay away from the lower caste theek hai sahi hai it is right एक तरीका है कि लुइस ड्यूमोंड थ्रू इस कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्योरिटी हैज हाइलाइटेड दैट दी अपर कास्ट यूज टू मेंटेन अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम लोअर कास्ट कौन सा ज्यादा इंपैक्टफुल है आई हैव इंक्लूडेड अ स्कॉलर आई हैव इंक्लूडेड अ कीवर्ड दैट इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्योरिटी शो केसिंग सेम थिंग बट इन अ डिफरेंट मैनर तो दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू डेवलप स्कॉलर्स बुक्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेवलप योर ओन डायग्राम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट शोड यू one instance of mind develop them think about these contemporary relevance is very very important and it is one of a, one of the best ways to conclude your answers please remember contemporary relevance as far as possible aap dikha sakte hain try to do it and small things matter a lot and these small things i have to give full credit to sir he taught me each and every small thing which matters for example you are quoting a scholar a professor indian anthropologist write the word prof before the name small small things matter a lot book hai underline the book always try to remember the year of the book as well right so show respect to the subject this is not general studies this is an optional subject show your appreciation show your respect to the subject right so ye small things also matter a lot in my humble opinion and sir used to give a lot of emphasis on these things and i felt that yes and like i was saying beech mein there was this point when i said that if sir is saying one thing do not ignore it he is saying it for a reason and i have seen many of my friends they used to think ki sir ye kya bol rahe hain ye kaam ki cheez nahi hai prof kon aage lagayega ye kon karega aisa kon karega if he is saying one thing if he is saying you to do that Please do not ignore it. आपका एक्सपीरियंस ज्यादा है सर का ज्यादा है 
आप मास्टर हो इस सब्जेक्ट के कि सर हैं तो यार सुन लो एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू मेनी ऑफ यू विल डू दिस मिस्टेक आई हैव सीन मेनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हु पार्ट ऑफ द बैचेज दे यूज टू डू दैट कि सर को कहाँ से सर थोड़ी जो पेपर लिख रहे हैं पेपर तो हम लिख रहे हैं हमें पता है दैट इज वेरी वेरी बैड आई एम नॉट सेंग कि यू शुड नॉट डेवलप योर ओन थिंकिंग प्लीज डू डेफिनेटली बट रिमेंबर दी स्मॉल थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू मेक अ डिफरेंस एंड अब मैं भी कह रहा हूँ यार मेरी भी थोड़ी इज्जत कर लो राइट सो दीज थिंग्स मैटर अ लॉट and these are common in all the peop- uh, in all the toppers who score very good marks in anthro aisa nahi hai ki maine kuch bahut hi nayi cheeze keh di maybe one or two things new maybe one or two things which i have emphasized upon but majority of the things remain the same and if so many have been highlighting th- these things for the past so many years there must be substance to it right please do that so you studied ember and ember when you were in the no college. no yaar yeah, ember and ember i did not do i just remember i think there is this chapter 7 on language acha you also include that uh, in the paper one you just include unit 7 i think i have forgot in that <laughs> generally people do so aap usko culture and society ka part maan lijiye so for that i think uh, uske ek photocopy maine karwa li thi just for that chapter uske alawa i never had ember and ember नहीं वही टेस्ट सीरीज एक साथ ही मैंने वो पूरी वाली ले ली थी हाँ पूरी ले ली थी सो so, उसमें बिफोर प्री आई वाज एबल टू ओनली गिव फोर टेस्ट आई रिमेंबर बट फोर टेस्ट वर वेरी वैल्यूएबल है ना एंड आफ्टर दैट आई गिव अ फ्यू मोर या सेम कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम टेस्ट सीरीज and then you watch this video and also want that we when we will be talking about advanced issues for people who are dealing with the exam bahut kuch fark pad jayega us se theek hai lekin jaise action ne kaha ki paper pura nahi ho raha tha so we have made a change in our study uh, previously we used to have complete essay now what we are doing is that after filling we have only two complete test paper 1 and paper 2 ek fayda kya hai ki jo log fail ho gaye wo bahar and and after the prelim is out, we we have uh, time for answering program. Twice a week, you I give you a question. See, 20 marks, write in 20 minutes. minutes you will write it, then we'll discuss. So, okay, exam में आपने पंद्रह मिनट में लिखना है तो डिस्कस करने के बाद नो राइट अगेन एंड राइट इट फिफ्टीन मिनट एंड आई थिंक यू टू डू इट राइट सर I'm there always. Uh, I have to say two things to the people who watch this video. One thing is that people keep asking when is the next test coming. Any issue which is personal, phone number is given. You can. Nobody is forced. Some people are is online class. In fact, I have another video. I said I don't find any relevance. And third thing is that we just have only 80 students in the batch. And after the batch. And you should know we already have under sixty students who are employed, and they insist that we should start that. I mean, if we do like that, the institute will crash. So better way is that because of just studying and studying and video that often to be done was, it does not mean that the whole process will be done. You have to manage the body of your bed. All that that just three months in the past. So what do you do with these three months? So start with your general studies. And so that means that when a particular time you want to give to answer right now, you give it to the yes. Or you want me to yes to give an answer, so you do it to the yes. The things are not according to you follow the plan B. Okay. And otherwise also, if you are in doubt, no, you 
dulu kuning menghasilkan dari dulu kuning Menurut warga yang saya tahu 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 